Hey everyone, mango 7 roll here, how we doing today? It's actually a Final Fantasy XIV video, holy crap, I can't believe it either. Um, this was linked to me by somebody, I think his name is Purveyor, I don't want to switch into Discord because it'll pop up on the screen right now. Um, but this is something I've always been looking for in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, every other game I've played has had some sort of resource like this, and it's just so weird that Final Fantasy XIV doesn't. I'm not sure the mechanics behind it, I'm not sure um, how information is grabbed, I'm not sure if there's anything specific holding us back from Final Fantasy XIV having this, but um, I want to kind of look into it and see what kind of potential it could have and how like valuable of a tool it is for, for something. Um, something we could have, you know? Uh, it's just so weird only having in-game tools, and our in-game tools are also atrocious, by the way. But that's another story. So the general idea of this is um, market board pricing, uh, and a way to figure that out offline, uh, outside of the game, on your phone, um, while you're in a dungeon, you, you can check it. Uh, all sorts of awesome uses to do it. And I want to show you um, what Purveyor has started off here. And unfortunately, by the looks of it, it's only one server right now. I guess that's one of the problems trying to figure out how to get it everywhere. Um, so we'll start with this. And obviously, too, here, um, I left this window open for now, but you can get prompted for notifications on specific items. Uh, if you're familiar to Camel 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 or something like that for Amazon, same sort of idea. You can set it to message you whenever one's put up, whenever the price is under a certain point, whenever the price is above a certain point if you're looking to sell instead. All that sorts of things. So we'll take a look at his right now in its current state, and it's not done or perfect yet. I wasn't sure if I wanted to really cover this yet, but I figured it was such a good idea and such a good start that, that I had to give it some sort of spotlight. Um, but you can see every item on uh, the currently Exodus market board, uh, and usually you can sort it by quantity sold to see what's hot. You can sort by average price of sale over the last few couple days. You can sort by cheapest price, by highest price. Um, but, 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 but you can sort by which section had the most gill exchange in the last 24 hours. Um, all sorts of things. And I'm not sure, again, how often this is updated or how um, fast it's updated. That, that's a really big deal, but I haven't really delved into it too much, especially since it's not on my server yet. But I've been in talks with him, and he says it will be um, at least attempted to be on other servers, so that's something. But let's look at uh, an item and take a look at what happens. So if we look at Fire Shard here, we can see current prices, how many are up, um, all sorts of things like this. Basically a good um, location where you can find everything without having to look online. And it's also got price history, and this is the big one. You can see who bought it, you can see how much they bought it for, you can check price trends, you can log these trends over months and months and months, um, years even, and that's what's done with other games right now. And another cool feature is that you can also do things like, say you're looking for me, say you're looking for me and you're trying to steal my ideas and you're trying to figure out um, what I'm selling, uh, you, you know my retainer's names, you can figure it out by that. Um, this doesn't really have the functionality for that yet, but it will be in the future, I'm assuming, because it's such a such an easy, easy there to there um, sort of idea. But we can see top spenders in Exodus last week. Uh, we can take a look at Yamoi Kiss, and we can see the sort of things they purchased um, and what they're trying to do. And you can imagine if somebody is purchasing 45 million worth of stuff, they probably know how to make gill as well. So uh, really good people to watch. Uh, just another thing we can we can look at here. We can see they're obviously trying to meld their gear and it's not going too well. You can see all the things they're making there. Um, growth formulas, they're obviously leveling crafting or doing something. Um, you can sort by 100 entries. So. Overall, really, really, really fantastic, fantastic resource uh, when it's done. Um, not so much yet, in my en entirely honest opinion, but it will be eventually. It also has a decent bit of loading times. I'm not sure uh, what the what the worry is that, wh what the reason for that is. But again, it's all in a complete beta right now. So that's about all I wanted to look at for this one here. Um, what really confuses me about this is because this is literally the same idea, um, in fact the person probably grabbed this idea from um, one of two games I'm imagining, and that's either WoW or Final Fantasy XI depending on which one they played. Um, but this was in Final Fantasy XI for the longest time as well. And the site is still running, it's obviously not as active anymore, and that's ffxiah.com. There's also a ffxiv version of this, but I would not go to it because you, you said, Google says it may be hacked, so I'm gonna stay out of there. Um, 
But I don't remember it being usable or even good, and I remember it just being a way to for people to buy Gale, basically, like a bunch of advertisements. Um, so getting that out of the way, this is what I dealt with like 15 years ago with Final Fantasy XI, the same site's still up. Um, we can search a server, uh, Bahamut seems to be the most, uh, the most common, so we'll stick to that. And on their main page here, it shows you most viewed items, so these are things people are always checking out. You can imagine these are going to be really, 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 really popular items. So something you can try to look into if you're trying to sell, or look into if you're trying to um, figure out a way to make profit, or um, something like that. You know, there's so many things. Or if you're trying to gather something, maybe maybe there's some ore up here. Um, Pluton, that sounds like an ore, so maybe there's that. Uh, there's some Pluton up there, heavy metal, I imagine those are made from Plutons, I don't know, I don't know this game anymore, I'm just winging it, but the general idea is there. Um, also, really cool things here is you can also see the most viewed characters, and you can usually see um, their price history as well, and uh, that kind of can lead to why they're the most viewed. Um, they could also could just be a really popular player or something like that. But let's look into, uh, let's look at to Jinx Jacket here, the number one seller. Number one most looked at item right now. You can see the price history for it. Um, not many sell by the looks of it. This is It's been a long time since I played this game. I have no idea what's going on. You can see the price history graph. You can see cross server prices. Um, you can see people that have it as a bazaar that are wanting to sell it outside of the auction house so you don't get hit by the that AH cut. And you can see last seen an hour ago, 20 minutes ago, so you could very easily message them and buy that and skip the whole tax thing. Um, you also have comments available, which is amazing. Somebody's giving the um, the recipe here. Uh, you can also do a wanted tag, so this person wants it. They can You can PM them and sell it to them directly. There's also recipes here, so it's also a database as well as everything else. Um, and you can see the rate at which it sells by the looks of it. So. Uh, stuff sells dead slow, very slow, average. Um, I'm guessing that's the rate at which they sell, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Um, long story short, there is so much information here, and it's such a good resource for Final Fantasy XI, and it just seems weird that there's not one for 12 or for 14. Maybe there's something stopping it, and if you are more knowledgeable in this sense, please let me know what is stopping it, because it just doesn't make sense to me um, as of this moment. There's also the Undermine Journal, which is from WoW. If you play WoW, you should be familiar with this, because it is the most ridiculously amazing resource in the history of the world. And um, I can understand why this exists, because WoW has all these add-ons in-game that can do this sort of thing for you. So with the Undermine Journal, let's pick uh, a, a realm. Uh, let's go to Korgath. And then we can see top sellers, most available, potential deals. That's even cool. It can tell you... Um, what might be lower than normal. So for example, if you had this feature on Final Fantasy XIV, you would have it set so um, anything that's under X percent the average price. So this would really, really, really be good for picking up things like people people putting up something for 200,000 instead of 2 million. Um, it would automatically put those in the potential deals thing. Um, such a good, good, good resource there. We can also take a look at stuff like unusuals. I don't know what this does. It's been a long time since I've done this. Um, but it shows rare items by the looks of it that aren't usually up in the auction house. Super, 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 super cool. So let's take a look at um, Venetrix, top US sellers on this server. Let's see what he sells. So we can see he has 1174 options up for an average of 13 million, market price of 12.5 million, Pretty, pretty impressive here, and you can see um, when he posts items, so you can specifically see his heat map if you want to kind of um, get on after him and undercut him, or get on before him, um, or get on right when he puts stuff up to buy stuff out. You can see a heat map, like how cool is that? And you can also see what type of stuff he sells with this little, uh, I don't even know what to call this little graph thing here. But you can see he sells a ton of leathers, a ton of mail, some cooking stuff, some elemental stuff, some food and some drinks, um, some random stuff here. So basically he just sells a ton of armor. Um, my guess is he sells, geez, like look at this, look at this, and it shows us listed items. So he sells everything, and I know this is WoW, not Final Fantasy XIV, but it's the exact same idea. You could do the same thing on there too. So he's got a ton of everything up here, and geez, it goes all the way up. He's got basically everything that's crafted available. Um, so you can really get an idea of what this person is selling. 
Uh, we can also look at an individual individual item. Let's take a look at Felblight, one of the most um, common things right now. You can see the available quantity, you can see the current price on your server, the medium price, the mean, all this sort of crap. You can also see that there is 51,000 of them on US servers, which is kind of cool to know, um, and what the average server is. So if your server is at like 10 gold right now, you might want to wait because it might go down to 493 like it is somewhere else. You can also see listing fee fees, which is cool. You can also see um, how many are on the boards, how often they get sold, um, everything, daily summaries of it. There's just so much of a wealth of information here. And this is what I get happy about. This is what I get excited about. This is what gets me out of bed when I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV. I like stuff like this. And patterns and statistics, it's what I live for, it's what I craft for. Um, I love taking advantage of these things, and this is one of the reasons why I make so much money in Final Fantasy XIV, and that's because I can pick up these things without this sort of resource. So this resource will be really, really good for other people as well. Um, and this heat map is really cool as well. You can see the price difference on average during certain times of day, so you know not to sell it at uh, Monday at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, that's because raiders start coming on at 6 and start crafting their stuff for raiding. Um, is my guess. I'm assuming this is a raid item. And the same sort of thing goes with Final Fantasy XIV as well, with um, whatever potions people are using right now, whatever foes people are using. Um, but this is just amazing. This is all I want to say, is this is amazing, and if this resource can get to the state that the others are in, it'll be invaluable until the end of time. Um, just absolutely invaluable. I would really, really, really hope this person developing this, um, Purveyor, I think his name was, I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, um, is taking as much information and as much um, inspiration from FFXIAH and the Undermine Journal as he possibly can. So yeah, um, that's about all I wanted to say there. Again, I am sorry I'm not playing Final Fantasy XIV as much. I promise you I am just as interested as it is before, but it's just hard to fit on my life schedule right now. So hopefully I can give you guys this sort of information still every now and then when it pops up. And uh, when a new patch comes out, we'll go a little bit, we'll go a little bit deep into it and we'll have some fun with it. Um, I will start streaming it soon too once um, something important starts happening. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you guys next time, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you would like to see something like this, let me know in the comments below. And if you wouldn't, let me know why. Um, do you like Final Fantasy XIV being kind of mysterious like it is right now? Um, or, or would you like an open, wide open book just like it is here? So anyway, uh, have a great day. Bye, guys.